Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference 2023 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Masanori Kondo who is the Secretary General of the Asia Pacific Telecommunity. Mr. Kondo, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about the Asia Pacific Telecommunity APT. Mm -hmm. What does it represent? Uh, Asia Pacific Telecommunity or APT is the very unique organization in the region, spe specifically in the field of ICT, established by a treaty among APT member ad administrations, which organize not only uh, administration or governments, but also private sectors. So uh, telecom service providers, manufacturers, and other st stakeholders also join to our organization. Now, you're based in Bangkok, but you come all the way here to Dubai. Yes. I wanted to ask you, why is this conference important for you? Oh, of course, it's very important for all APT members. Um, not, not only because uh, we, 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 we cover the 38 member countries in terms of population and the inter in terms of internet users, but also the spectrum is very necessary needs, although our needs are quite diverse from APT region, but it is important for mobile, satellite, and other emerging, emerging technologies. What do you hope will come from this conference? It's a long conference. It's over a four-week period here. Right. And we've just had the, the radio communication assembly prior to this, which was uh, preparing uh, the uh, elements for this, this conference too. Uh, but it's also been in preparation for the last four years too. Yes. So tell us a little bit about what you hope will come from this. Yeah, as you said, uh, we prepared for quite a long time. And uh, as APT, we submitted to the ITU uh, it, 320 APT common proposals. So as APT, we provide the APT coordination meetings platform for our members to discuss and coordinate during the course of WRC 23. And also as a Secretary General of APT, I very much look, looking forward to seeing a constructive and forward-looking discussions and agreements for global community. How complex is it to, to, to reach agreement in, uh, in a conference such as this with 193 member states and uh, a lot of people obviously having uh, different uh, views or regarding spectrum and regarding other issues that uh, concern them? It's very uh, complex uh, for Asia Pacific region. Uh, it's kind of mini WRC because we have uh, developed countries or developing countries or less developed countries, I island countries or uh, Land rock countries, big countries, small countries. So, which means the needs and uh, requirements for radio communication, especially spectrum management, is quite diverse. So, in order to consolidate our regional voices, are uh, quite difficult and complex. But uh, fortunately, with the support and the help of uh, consensus and the spirit of community, we concluded, and as I said, we could submit th more than 300 proposals. And uh, let's hope that, uh, that they get uh, approved, and uh, let's hope that you're able to uh, come away with a satisfactory uh, response here. Finally, is there a message that you would like to convey to our, our viewers and listeners re with uh, regards to radio communications in your region? Yes, my message is that uh, we would like to see the uh, conclusion and agreements which reflect uh, diverse needs and challenges as a telecommunity in the world, and especially for Asia Pacific region. Masanori Kondo, Secretary General of the Asia Pacific Telecommunity, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today, and we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, please check out other interviews on our ITU YouTube channel or SoundCloud or wherever you get your podcasts from. And thank you very much for tuning in.